If you watched my previous video, you learned how to leverage Docker container to, to make your action reusable. And you might be wondering how you can share your actions with others in a more discoverable way. Uh, as you can see, my action is available and discoverable on GitHub Marketplace. Weird flex, huh? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the same for your actions. So before I jump in, I just wanna ask if you're looking to get action traction, consider hitting that subscribe button and crunch that Taco Bell. So if you have a video that you have in mind and you'd like me to produce, just leave a comment below and I will work on it. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of getting your action on GitHub Marketplace. GitHub Marketplace is a place to get the tools you need to get the job done. What a great line. <laughs> If you're looking to improve formatting your JavaScript code at pull request time, there's an action for that. And you can find it here. But this is just one quick example of the many actions that are available on the marketplace. So, so I encourage you to do a search on your own and find actions that you can add to your, your workflows to improve your developer experience. So let's head back to the repo for my action because I'm gonna show you how to do the steps I took to get my action on marketplace. The first step is adding an action.yaml. The action.yaml is gonna be the way for GitHub to know that this is an one, that this is an action. It's also gonna hold all the necessary information to display your action on your marketplace listing. If you're interested in learning more about this file, you can check out the docu GitHub documentation. So as you can see in the documentation, you can add extra information like input and output details, as well as choose an icon to display on your listing. Uh, I'm just going to point out real quick that the icon itself is powered by Feather icons. You can check out all the Feather icons on this page. So at the time of this recording, the ability to set custom icons for your listing is limited to only GitHub apps and GitHub Action Partners. If you're interested in finding out more about becoming a partner, head over to partner.github.com. But back to the two required fields, which are description and name. You can't submit your action without both of those being present in your action.yaml. So since I already have a great name, well, my name's Brian, but the other name is for my action, which is a take action. I'm going to just plop that here and then I'll add myself as an author. And I trust you, I know how to spell my name. And there you go. I'm also gonna add a couple extra things too as well. I'm gonna point out the fact that this is actually running a Docker image. Uh, this would be helpful for distinguishing this in the marketplace listing. So now all I have to do is commit this file uh, to my repo on the main branch. And then now that I have this action.yaml, it should give me an opportunity to create a release, which would then present me to a release form. Interesting, so it looks like my action's name is not unique. Uh, it's actually been taken. And I'm just gonna look up this. So it turns out after checking, uh, GitHub actually leverages the same namespace for action naming on the marketplace as users and organization names. So even though my name was pretty good and I thought I was pretty clever when, when choosing it, uh, it looks like there's already a GitHub organization that is using the name as well. So most actions actually get around this naming uh, collision by adding action to the end of their action name. Uh, but because my name was so generic, uh, I adding action to the end of take did not really help. Um, so I guess I was not as clever as I thought. So I'm gonna need to choose a different name. So, so much for that gamble. Uh, I can go back and update my name in the action.yaml. So let me make this a little bit more unique. Upon this day, my action shall be named contributor take action. And that is how the name was chosen. And I just wanna point out, I like this name better anyway, so never wanna take action. So I'm also gonna go ahead and while I'm here, make a change to my icon as well. Uh, during my discovery and searching, I thought through the icon I chose, and I just wanna make sure that this icon is also unique as well. So now that I have a unique name, this should all be fine. Yep, and indeed, it looks like my name has not been taken. It is indeed unique. So something to note here, I just wanna point out, when everything is successful, it will show this banner. Uh, this is where I sort of slowed down and took a pause. Yeah, but basically, it just turns out that the banner was not showing before because my action was not, my action.yaml was not actually usable. So I'm gonna point out the location for my tag and the version number, which is gonna be helpful to be leveraged in my workflow files. As a reminder, if you did, or maybe not even a reminder, if you didn't know, you could actually point your actions to branches, tags, or releases 
directory in the repo's workflow file. Um, so it's important to sort of point that out so you get some consistency in how the action is run. And S-U-C-C-E-S-S, that is the way you spell success. And now with my action discoverable, it's now time for me to get back to work. So I hope these videos have been helpful and it kicks off your path to general action traction. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you have any ideas for actions or any ideas for videos, uh, please let me know as well in the comments below.